UK Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com. We'll just wait for a few minutes. I think uh, other folks are still joining in slowly. So we'll just wait for a minute. तनु पार्टी करी बने, पार्टी करी बने। साउंड नहीं तनु। All right, so let's start up. All right, so in the last class, uh, I think uh, due to some technical problems, uh, I got disconnected and uh, something went wrong. So yes, uh, in the last class, what I was showing was is uh, how to check in and check out the project. Basically, you guys will uh, try to check out the project from the repository. And let me just tell you, uh, walk through the complete steps on uh, what will be the process uh, from now. Uh, I'll be basically, if I do any changes in any of the files, you, uh, every one of you can check out the project and uh, at least you can run the project, uh, run the programs by yourself, okay? So what are the steps uh, followed in this? Uh, let me just tell you. Uh, the very first thing is uh, you, you have uh, already in your Eclipse, you have got a GID repository, okay? So somewhere in your Windows, Open Perspective, uh, others, uh, GIT. So, if you click on GIT, you can see this particular perspective, okay? So, what you have to do is, uh, oh, let me just, one sec. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to ping everyone in the common URL. So this will be the URL, which even I'll be sending an email to every one of you. Uh, so this will be URL, which we'll be using it for checking out the project. Okay, so what you do is uh, uh, when you open your windows, open perspective, okay, others and GIT here, you basically will see this particular uh, GIT repository. Okay, so what you do is, uh, let me just delete this, delete the existing one right now. Uh, delete repository, delete, oh, delete, delete, okay. So you will, at the very first time, you'll see something like this. There won't be anything and you'll be having three options here. So the URL which are given to you, just copy that and paste it here, okay. You can just say copy paste also. As uh, I am using, uh, I mean, this is my uh, repository, so I have got a username and password. You, for you guys, you do not need any username and password. So for now, at least let me not give the username and password and just try to check out the project, okay? So there is no username, no password for me. So I just do a next and next, okay? So just click on this particular option here, import all existing project after clone is finished. Uh, so click on this. Okay, click on this and just say uh, finish here. 
So the moment you say finish, uh, you can see this particular repository in your in your local uh, system. Okay, so something got checked out from the repository. Okay, now if you go to your Java perspective back, uh, you'll see this in in place. Okay, so initially there won't be anything, and uh, once you make sure that when you check out, I told you to check a particular option there. So just click on that. This particular project will be uh, in your in your system. Okay. Now the question is, uh, what will be the use of this? All right. So the moment I do any changes in this particular files, let's say I I do some changes here in the main program. Uh, I say hello. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check in this file. Now if you see, I did some modifications here. Automatically the uh, the folder structure. There is a symbol which came up over here. It has changed to the symbol has changed to a uh, greater than symbol. Okay, so that means you have done some changes in some of the files, so it will be easily shown you here in the uh, package explorer itself or in the navigator also. So as a user, because I am the admin, so you cannot check in the file. So what I'm going to do is from my side, I'm just going to say right click, uh, okay, team, commit, okay. So I'm going to commit with my author and uh, this particular option and I'll just say, let's say update and commit and push, right? So the moment I commit and push, I, I already have my username and password saved, so it is not giving me any uh, issues here. But if you do it, you try to uh, commit anything, it will give you an option for you. I mean, it will not give you to even check in the files, all right? Um, so this is the way I check in the file. So what do I, what do you do when I check in any files? Just go to that file. Okay. Uh, let's say you have done some changes. I right click, run as uh, Java application. Sorry, right click, uh, replace with. If you have seen an option here, replace with head revision. Okay. The moment you say replace with head revision, it is going to take the latest of what I have checked in. Okay. So uh this is the way i check in the file and the way you even check out the file so only one thing you have to do right click on this replace with latest or replace with head revision okay otherwise if suppose i have checked in some file now you have got only three files here i have added one more file okay so what do you do just right click on the folder structure right click replace with head revision so automatically the files which i have checked in the fourth file it will come to your workspace okay so this is what you have to do in order to check in and check out the project from the central repository from now we are going to use this as a uh, our own repository and let me just show you quickly uh, what is a GIT repository when you guys can uh, create and create create your own repository okay so GIT repository, it's an open source basically and uh, if you can see, uh, this is my user ID and password. Uh, one sec. Sign in. Chair um, process and okay. So once I sign in, uh, you can see here uh, what are the repositories present in my um, in my sign in. So I've got Core Java and April 2014 batch. So this will be of your interest. So even very well, you can go to this particular uh, folder also. And you can, if you can see here, uh, there is a URL which is given here. So this is the same URL which I gave you in the, in the common chat. Okay. So you just copy this URL. Otherwise, if you want to create your own repository, how do you do that? So come here and uh, say, create a new repository, new repository. I can give a name to a repository, let's say, uh, testing okay I can give up uh, what type of project it is I can just say even Java here and I can just say create uh, if, if you use a private it is going to ask you for your uh, credit card details and all it is not required uh, if you want it privately you can even do that so just say create repository so once you create the repository so if you can see here here as testing click on this okay and uh, take this URL uh, okay I think everybody are able to see this URL okay take this URL and if I just open a notepad okay so this is the URL which will be present okay so the same URL copy this URL and go to your Eclipse 
and go to your GID repository and just paste it here. Okay, Control V. So if you paste it, you can see these these options here. And let me say here, Jairam H2K Infosys. Um, ja. Okay. Next. Finish. Okay. So this is the way I can even add one more repository in 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 my. Uh, in my GIT, okay. So this is a local repository. Basically, the moment you check in, I check in anything, automatically that gets reflected. For example, let's say uh, I'm going to show you this while do loop example right now. So if you see this in the repository, click on this. So let's click on this and Core Java source. So this is the one which I was talking about. Okay. So right now, if you can see, this is something like hello. All right. So let me do some changes in the file right now. So I'll just say here, hello world, right? That's all. And let me check in this file. The moment I check in this file, I need to say team commit. Okay. Now if you can see, uh, you can even see the difference between what are the changes you have done it right now and what was the change previously also. How do you do that? Right click, right click compare with uh, head revision. Okay. So what it says basically is uh, in actually the file which is there in your repository, this is the file. Okay. And this is the extra text you have added to your, uh, yeah, Florence, I'll, I'll, I'll give you the link again. Okay. Uh, okay. Let me just ping you otherwise. Yeah. This is the link which you can uh, use it for checking out. All right. So here, if you can see here, this is my uh, existing one, which is there in my repository. And this is the change uh, which I have done it right now. So you can very well see the difference between two files here. Okay. So this is your local and this is your remote. Right. And uh, let me just close this uh, right click team commit. So when you do a commit, it, uh, if you if there are a lot of uh, files and if you want to choose only one file, you can just choose this particular file. And uh, I'm just saying update here and I, I just want to say commit and push. So the moment I say commit and push and say, okay, uh, let me go back to the URL here and let me just refresh this. So source uh, while do loop example, right? So if you can see this got added here in this particular file. Okay. So I keep checking in the file and after each session, you guys can just check out the project. I mean, you don't have to do it all the time. As I said, this is a one-time process. Uh, once you import this particular uh, uh, repository, what you do, just go to your Java perspective and just say right click on your core Java or source here and just say replace with uh, head revision. Okay. So automatically uh, things are going to be in your, in your repository. All right. Um, Okay, just to show you some practical uh, practical example here, let me just open a new workspace here. Uh, Vasi, you had any questions because you unmuted yourself, so I thought. Okay. So let me do one thing. Let me create a new workspace here and uh, let me try checking out uh, something here as an admin and check out from the other place. Okay. So okay. So what do I do? Click on a click on the Eclipse. So it is going to ask me for. Let me say here it's to get test. Okay, and say okay. So this is a new workspace which I created and uh, in this workspace, so nothing is there in this workspace. So let me go to your windows, open perspective, others, GIT. Now I need the URL, right? So let me just copy the same URL here and come here and paste it. So as you see, uh, this is the same URL and these things will come up automatically and uh, as because I'm thinking that, okay, I'm a student right now. Okay. I'm not, I'm not Jeram here. So I don't need any username and password here and just say next and next. Uh, it says it is not empty. So let me just make this name as uh, two. Okay. And say finish. All right. So 
let me expand this and just go to the Java perspective. It is not added here because I did not choose an option, uh, one option here in particular, Control V. So when I did a next, okay, next, I did not choose this option. So it is, it did not import the existing project which is present in the uh, April 2014 batch too. Okay. So what do I do? Even though there is no problem with that, uh, you can still try to import it by uh, manually. Okay. How do you do that? So just go come to your exact project. Now I know there is only one project right now that is a core Java. Right click and just say import projects. So when you say import project, uh, okay. If you see this Java perspective here. Okay, see guys, pers perspective in the sense, different options, okay. I mean, you see a Java perspective here, GIT perspective here, we've got deeper debug perspective also. Uh, Yes, yes, uh, it is used to share programs with others. And this is the same way you do it in your company also. Uh, you do not manually send the files to anyone, okay? So this is the only way you, uh, with the help of which you uh, share the files. It's not sharing the files, you you commit the files and some a uh, lot of other folks, they take, take your files, okay? In this course of action, we'll see those things as well and you guys will definitely get uh, familiar with those things. Okay, so what I was saying here in your Java perspective, if you see in your package explorer or your navigator, um, okay, so you don't see anything basically, right? So because I just added my GAD repository to the, uh, I mean, added my uh, repository URL to the uh, GAD repository, but it's still not in my workspace. So what do I do? Right click on this and say import project. So the moment I import project, uh, Okay, so now go to the Java perspective here and you see these options here, right? Now in this already, let's say you're doing it for the first time, uh, the same way, let's say I'm doing it for the first time as a student, I see all these examples, right? Now what am I going to do is, I'm going to uh, use this on the right hand side as a student uh, profile, okay? And this is my admin profile, okay? This is what I'll be doing it on a daily basis, right? So let me uh, do a couple of things here, so let me add one more line of code here, hello world um, 2. And uh, let me first see the difference, right click, compare with uh, head revision. And I know that, okay, I have added a new line here and that's what I see the difference here, okay? So this is what you see basically, the new line. And there's still an option if you can see here. Uh, if you still want to retain your uh, remote version, okay, you did some changes here by mistake and you want to do, okay, let me do one thing here. Uh, Okay, so I added an extra space here in the line number uh, 14 and this is the new line which I added. Okay, now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to say right click, compare with um, head revision here and if you can see, uh, that's fine, I mean this is a new line which has been added but in this case, there's a space which is present here. Now, what you can do, you can basically uh, say something like copy current changes from right to left but here in this case it will basically override all the changes from your right to left you can still do that or otherwise you can say copy all non-conflict changes from your right to left okay so if i do this all the right hand side changes will go to your left hand side changes okay i don't want to do it in this way right now so let me just close it and this is my admin uh, user okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to check in the file now and in my so this is my student profile all right so what do i do right click uh, team commit so I committed the file so Jeram has committed the file commit all right so I got a successful message push to so and so uh, with some information okay so this is my uh, check-in number basically so I said okay now as a student uh, once I check in the file what you have to do you have to go to the same Eclipse okay and uh, first you can do a couple of things. Let me say so this is your student profile, okay? So on the same file, you can basically say right click, uh, compare with uh, head revision, all right? So it will give you a comparison here. Uh, what happened, you didn't check in the file here. Oh, wait, hang on. Team. Where is that option? Team commit. Is it committed properly? Okay. All right. 
so let me just say so what is the option here hello world 2 here right so this is in which file while loop file so replace with head revision okay so when you do a replace with head revision click was it not coming hang on replace with head revision one sec give me a sec there is something wrong here patch to master four. delete from view okay so I think uh, I'm using the same uh, thing in the same folder for that reason I'm getting a problem but still we'll try it out again copy this paste it here uh, okay next next to finished okay so let us do this do this otherwise uh, you guys can do it practically in your own machine and uh, we'll see how things goes okay so i think it has already been added here so let's see if you have the changes here okay you have the changes here right now but usually what happens if you just uh, right click and replace it it gets replaced okay you don't have to bother about this basically uh, let me do it again if i can so if i make this as three come to this place check in the file team commit update commit and push okay so let me first go and see the uh, main repository here whether the changes has been done or not okay so the changes have been done here and it should reflect here right click replace with uh, head revision Mm, okay, I think due to some reason it's not happening. You guys can do it practically in your system, so that uh, you can find out what's a, what's what's the difference here. Okay, so right click, pull. Okay, all right. So if you can see right now, the changes are there right now. Okay. Okay, you can very well come here and even do the changes. I mean, you can just say pull the file from the repository also okay but usually what happens uh, it happens from here uh, maybe I'm hmm, something is wrong okay anyways if this doesn't happen from here you can very well go to your GIT repository and click on this and just say pull all right so you can easily see the changes in your machine and the changes which I've done it okay so any doubts on this so this is known uh, this is basically a kind of a central repository wherein you check I check in the file and you check out the files on a daily basis all right any questions uh, any questions here um jay ram can you hear me yes i can um so when we check it out and basically add the url mm -hmm. to our repository okay um, so whatever whoever makes changes will be reflected no it's only they commit push and commit uh, no actually uh, you need the username and password to check in the file to this particular repository okay in which you do not have it so the only thing is I need to check in the moment I check in you can just check out the project from there okay 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 so whatever changes we make here won't reflect uh -huh. it it won't get reflected in the in the in the main okay okay for that reason you can have your own uh, own repository and you can make the changes and ch uh, check in the files there all right so let me close this and uh, properties okay copy this so usually what happens uh, the project which you imported here there will be I mean in your user folder uh, under your GIT so all these things will will get created okay so 
I'm just going to delete this right now. I don't need these things. Yes. Uh, I could close this. Okay. All right. So very well. From now, you will see everything here under your let's say Core Java or. Uh, you'll see everything under your April 2014 batch, okay? So you'll see Core Java, Advanced Java, Spring, Hibernate, everything will start from here itself. So if you just copy this URL, you're good to go, all right? And even you have an option to download everything in a zip, uh, zip format also, so you can do it here. And there are still other options you can, you can still explore. I don't use your clone in the desktop uh, because I feel more uh, comfortable using the Eclipse itself here. All right, so if there are no doubts, uh, pretty simple things. Uh, it's, it, it, it'll make your life easy and my life easy also. Okay, so let's let's move on now. Uh, in the previous section, uh, we just spoke about uh, the while loop, okay? And we spoke about the for loop and we spoke about the for each uh, version of the for loop also, okay? Now, let's talk about uh, the, the switch statement and we'll talk up about the break statement also. Okay, break and continue. Now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new file right now, uh, new class file. So let me uh, rename this file as switch example and click on this, finish. <clears throat> Now, usually, uh, let's say I'm going to have an integer array, um, int i equals to uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. So here, basically, what you do is uh, I'll say uh, for int j in i okay so i'm using i'm basically using my enhanced for loop here if j equals to equals to 1 i just need to say uh, sys out so i'm going to say sys out and uh, i'm just going to say here i am 1 okay uh, if suppose in this particular loop, let's say this came into picture, so it is going to print this one. Okay. Otherwise, if the, in the same loop, uh, I can even use an else, else. Okay. Else if j equals to equals to two, I can say here uh, and copy paste. I can just say I am two. The same thing I can do it for others also. So if else, if else, if else. So if it is one, print one. If it is two, print two. If it is three, print three here. If it is four, print four. And it is five, print five. Now let me just run this program and uh, show you real quick what's going to happen here. Uh, for each loop, okay, now you're going to loop through uh, the, this particular integer array. And for each loop, you are going to come here, okay, the value of j will be 1 first, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay. So right click, uh, run as Java application. So you see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right. Now what happens basically is, let's say, uh, your your array is around. Uh, uh, it has got a it, it has got an array length of thousand. Okay, and you got values from five, six. It goes on and on and on till thousand. Okay, so basically, okay, this is not the syntax. I just uh, for an example, I just gave you with with dots here. And uh, what you do is uh, basically you loop through each and every array. Okay, let me remove this. Uh, you loop you loop through each and every element from the array and you check okay if j equals to one come here and print this now second time what happens is when it checks, uh, loops for the second time when it comes here it checks if j equals to one no j is not one else 
if j equals to 2 yes this condition satisfied so i'm printing this one okay now when let's talk about 5 if you are in the fifth loop right now the value of j will be 5 and what happens here it comes and checks here if j equals to 5 no it is false it will not print this one if j equals to 2 no j equal to 3 no j equal to 4 no j equal to 5 yes j equals to 5 then I'm going to print it here all right so what, what, what's happening basically here is uh, for the value of 5 we keep on looping from top to bottom let's say we we are having an array of well, let's say 1000 okay for the 1000th number you are basically bypassing or oh, 999 conditions I mean you're not bypassing basically you are going to check each and every condition one by one all right so what's going to happen is your performance is going to hit there uh, is this for the loop can we use this with arrays only uh, no I will we'll talk about that okay I'm just giving an example here uh, we'll talk about switch basically my my objective is to tell you what is a switch statement here okay so we'll talk about that okay and by the way yes uh, you're saying this is loop can be used with an array only uh, her, 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 her breath, uh, stands for loop yeah could you just unmute yourself and speak out uh, at least I can understand I want to ask the uh, I was using this uh, instant for loop because uh, we are defining for int j colon i mm -hmm. or some variable we have mm -hmm. we are uh, defining it for some other variable which is not array mm -hmm. so is it we can uh, is it better we can use for, uh, this for loop for other things also no or it is it is it is only with array only okay hey, okay now uh, we'll when uh, down the line we'll be even talking about collections collections also is a kind of an array for that also we'll be using the same thing okay but again uh, collection is a it's again a kind of an array also all right so here uh, the objective to understand here uh, that we are basically wasting our time here let's say this particular condition takes uh, one second for me okay to check whether okay uh, j equals to 1 or not just assume here okay so the same thing goes for your uh, j equals to 2 now for the first loop if you see 1 okay it took 1 second and it executed here and it will not even go to any other conditions because your the very first uh, condition satisfied and I'm good here so it took me 1 second for this now for the fifth one it has to bypass this 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 so it is going to take 1 2 3 4 4 seconds for me to sorry 5 seconds me to, for me to come to this condition and execute this all right so it's basically a hit in the performance when you talk about performance in the real time so Emphasis provides world-class online IT training, staffing, and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Emphasis: How we are different from our competitors. 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Emphasis has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com.